Hey guys, what's up? It's Denver Kid. Today we are on the Minds of Mind Frenzy, the prison server. As usual, the IP will be down below in the description. And today we are going to do the long awaited tour of all mines up to the R rank. So, those of you guys who are just starting the server, maybe you've seen it in a few of my videos, you don't know if you want to play, if it's too OP, if it's not OP enough, whatever. Um, yeah, this is going to be most of the mines, most of the beginner mines. Um, and I've probably put in a good amount of hours on this server, so it's not easy to get to where I'm at. So you guys will be able to see what's down the road in the prison server. It is a good long-term server to play on, so I will just say that now. And we're also going to tour three of the donator mines. I don't think there's any videos of any of the donator mines yet. So those of you guys who maybe are interested in donating, we'll get to those after we get to the R mines. So we're going to start, we're going to go to warp A. Basically, guys, the way this is going to work is I'm going to warp to each mine. I'm going to tell you what most of the basic blocks are. I'm going to tell you what new blocks are introduced at each mine. I'm going to tell you what you should be going for. And last of all, I'm not going to spend much time at these, but I'm going to show you each admin shop. Um, I will just say this, though. Except for the R rank. If you are any rank but the R rank, you can sell all materials, gold, iron, emerald, and diamond at my plot for more than any of the shops except for R. So this is the A mine. Uh, this is where you can get food right here. Slash warp A, you go to the left, you click some buttons over here, and you smack these cows. That'll get you some food. I believe you can buy it in behind spawn now as well. So this is the A mine, and you're going to be hunting these iron blocks. Uh, and I am using a guard pick, so they're pretty easy to get. And uh, yeah, there we go. So what you're going to be hunting is those gold block. There's uh, iron blocks as well as the iron ores. And I wouldn't recommend going for the coal. Just you get, just take what you get from typically mining and use that to smelt. I would say. Um, but there you go. You're going to be hunting those exclusive uh, iron blocks. They're pretty rare. But uh, it's not that easy to rank up with. I believe. 30 iron blocks at, selling at my plot at least you can rank up to B so we'll go to warp B with that and we'll check out what's at warp B so the main box here is is going to be sandstone and nether racks and they're both very easy to dig through almost as easy as that stone and there's coal blocks as well so you guys don't have to you know break down that coal you get you, these cook very well on their own or you can of course break them down into the other coals if you prefer uh, if you have more furnaces. Uh, but, uh, oh yeah, there's no nether quartz yet in this one. So you're just going to still be going for those iron blocks and the iron ores. Uh, I wouldn't recommend smelting anything in those smelters. People can steal. So we're going to go to warp C. Uh, now, this mine is mainly nether rack. We see the introduction of gold ores as well as nether quartz. If you guys are wanting to build out of quartz, don't collect this as one of the ranks coming up soon will have... Uh, straight up quartz blocks. But yeah, there's gold here, which, I mean, it, it definitely helps. It basically doubles uh, your profit at this point. Uh, and there's a few more iron blocks, I'll say. There's a few more per mine here. Now we get to go to a actually a decent mine, though, which is the D mine. Uh, we're going to see the shops first. So here's the shops. And if you guys like any of these shops at any point, you can pause the video and check them out then. But there's four mines, so there's two over there, and then there's two over here. It's pretty much identical. So we're just going to go to this one. The only problem with this is that there's ice. Uh, you can use it, though, to get water buckets, so you can pick that up. I would just recommend blocking it off, usually, or I don't know. But we are going to see at this mine the introduction of another new block, the gold block. So that's going to help you guys out a ton with uh, ranking up and getting some better blocks. The main blocks here are going to be stone and cobblestone. <clears throat> so we're going to go to warp E. This mine is rather important, guys. This is where you're going to start to find diamonds. Let's just say this. Triforce awesome. Sell at my plot for more money. Alright, so there's the shops at E. Um, and the main blocks here, it is kind of distinguish the main block from the iron blocks, which are there. But the main blocks are going to be these quartz blocks. So there's chiseled quartz. Let's see if we can find one of the pillared ones. There's a pillared quartz. Uh, and let's see if we can find any diamonds. Can we find any? There's a diamond. So they are pretty rare, but um, we just had 11. So <coughs> that should be enough there to get you guys uh, some picks and some armor working if you don't have any anymore. We're going to go to warp F. Now, at this mine, uh, I'm not a fan of this mine, guys. We're going to throw away some of this stuff first. Just excuse me. Uh, I just, 
I hate the clutter on the prison servers. It really, really aggravates me sometimes. I'm going to throw all that out. There we go. That guy's probably going crazy. So the main block here is going to be endstone, which as you can see, it's a little bit slower to mine through. Um, I think I mined at D instead of this mine for a while. But yeah, we're going to find sponges, which no one really uses. So if you guys want to go ahead and use those, I congratulate you on that. Um, but no new blocks other than the endstone. I don't think there's any gold blocks here either, guys. So you're going to... Um, yeah, I don't think there's any gold blocks here. So you're going to have to get used to not having the gold right after having it in the D mine. But that's all good. So that's some of the F mine. Uh, warp G, sorry. This was actually built by Flightless Pigeon, if you guys have seen him. He is a really cool person on the prison server. He's helped me out. Uh, I've taken some ideas for my builds from him, and he actually built this mine. So, whoop, hopefully I didn't fall in the lava there. But there's one mine over here, and this mine is rather important because it has sand. So if you guys are looking to grow cactuses, this is going to be the mine for you. I'm actually going to loot as much sand as I can right now from these guys. They don't seem to want it or care about it. Um, but, I mean, this mine is actually rather great. The, uh, the hardened clay is really easy to see in the inventory. You can throw it out really fast. And the gold blocks return in this mine, as well as the introduction of emeralds. So that's really nice. And I think you can color this clay, if I'm not mistaken, with dyes. I'm not sure, though. That is something I'm not sure about, so don't quote me on it. I think I'm wrong. But yeah, this mine is, is awesome. You can see that clay in there. You can throw it out right away or keep it. Um, and then the ores, of course. There's a ton of ores here for you guys to smell. Uh, I think this is one of the last major ore mines. So we go to warp H, and oh, I forgot to show you the shop at G, but that's just too bad. I'm gonna sell some of this off. Block of quartz. I can't sell it apparently. I have 64 of it, but I can't sell it. All right, so there's three mines here. We're gonna go check this one out. Uh, it, I mean, it's a decent mine. Uh, the the coal and the nether quartz is for the XP. I'm assuming. Uh, there's a few emeralds here, not many, and you're mostly gonna be hunting these. Um, iron and gold blocks so that's pretty much still a lot of what I hunt for uh, so that's yeah the main block as you can see is obviously stone so. and I guess we will just check out the rest of the mine this is pretty cool you can actually move those up and down uh, and you can see on the outside Hades has his bedrock cage so you can't you can't get through all right, so we're going to go to Warp Eye. This is Crazy New, whose favorite mine until the O mine. So there's two, one on either side. Here is the the uh, shop or whatever. Sorry, the chat name scared me a little bit. <laughs> uh, and in this mine, I believe the introduction of, yes, I'm correct, diamond blocks. They are pretty few and far between, but uh, it, it definitely gives you something to look forward to in the mine, uh, or at least for me, when I'm mining around like this. And when you guys come down here, I mean, when you come down to the bottom and you're just mining along and you see diamond blocks, it feels a lot better than seeing coal ore and other random things. Uh, so we're going to go to warp J. <clears throat> I actually love this mine, guys, and I'll tell you why. The main block is going to be stone brick stairs. But what I do love about this, there's, of course, diamond blocks, iron blocks, gold blocks, and diamond and emerald ores. But say we're digging down here. And we come across, um, let's just say we come across, oh god, we're mining this way, right? And we see these stairs right here, and we see something nice on the other side of those stairs, like, oh my god. Let's just find an example. There you go. So you can see the block through the stair, and you're like, ooh, let me get that. And then you just keep mining a little bit, you see some more blocks through the stairs, and you're like, ooh, I gotta get that diamond block. So it is, it is rather addicting to me, at least. And let me show you another trick. I'm not sure if it still works anymore. But I will try to show it to you guys. I'll just empty this out. And if it doesn't work, I'm sorry for wasting your time. But if it does work, you guys are going to love me. Hopefully you actually watch the whole video. And you can see this. Oh, I don't have one. Let me go. Just let me do something really fast. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. But it's okay. Oh, there's none here. You didn't see this mine, you didn't see this, you didn't see this, you didn't see this. No, they took him out! They took him out, they took him out, they took him out. No! No! No, yes, they have him. Slash warp J. Which mine were we in? Which mine were we in? Which mine were we in? This one right here, right? Yes, this one. 
Okay, down we go to the bottom. No! I can't believe that just happened. Alright, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to determine now to show you this. And then we're going to go see the K-Mine, which is actually pretty awesome as well. It's almost identical to this, though, with Glowstone. So we'll check that out in just a second. It's also the last place, the best place on the uh, server admin shop-wise that you can sell coal blocks. So let's see if this works. Is it going to work? Nope, it doesn't work. So, I guess they nerfed them. That used to work, though. Sorry for wasting your time, guys. But now we're going to go see Warp K. And I will make that up to you guys at the end of the video. So, Warp K is pretty much exactly... It is exactly the same as J. Here's the sell rates. As you can see here, coal blocks sell for 7,000. So, that's where I sell mine as well. Uh, but it's basically the same as J with the addition of some random glowstone placed around uh, which you can now buy in the shop so this glowstone is actually pretty annoying now it shouldn't be on the mine if it's in the shop but that's just my own personal opinion anyways we're gonna go to warp L warp L I'm not very interested in I'm not gonna stay here long it is a pretty big milestone to get to this rank though um, as I considered quitting right before this rank uh, just knowing what this mine was so here's the shop over on the left side the only place on the server that I know of that you can sell uh, lapis lazuli for 2,000 for a stack of the ores um, and this is the mine I'm not I mean you can see it's untouched this is what it looks like I'm not gonna bother with it because it will fill up my inventory with lapis very fast make sure when you're doing this that you fill your inventory with your desired blocks like so and you get rid of other things, so say you want these gold blocks. Let's just throw away some of this garbage and I'll show you what I mean. Is that quartz? Yeah, that's quartz. Why do I have that? Cobblestone. Get rid of all this. So, say you wanted to fill your inventory up with diamonds. You would just hold your right trigger button and fill your inventory up like that. Fill it up with some iron blocks. Or else, this mine will fill your inventory with lapis lazuli. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. Very fast. And it's slabs, which is just super annoying, so slash warp lm and this mine as well is the lapis the only the only good part to the lapis guys is you can get really high levels really fast this is the m mine here's the shop right here and yeah that's not much to say about the shop it doesn't look very nice the best way to do this mine guys is to stand right here in the middle with your pick you mine out the sides like this i'm just going to show you how to just the best way that i have found to do this so say you've mined out all this right here, then you would jump down, and as you go side to side, you pick up your looties. Once this gets flat, you just start in the middle and do it all again. And yeah, other than that, this mine is pretty bad. So warp element. There we go. This mine, oh my, this Laxy Ashley is actually going pretty hard on this. So here's the mine, as you can see, kind of just a uh, world edit command that they use. There's the shop. Actually, a pretty decent shop there. With actually got the item frames there, which is pretty nice. So, Laxy Ashley is going at this mine pretty hard. The problem with this mine, guys, the the uh, the problem other than the lapis, of course, is say you're mining along here, and oh, you've run into a wool. So you either have to carry a shears or you have to deal with being slowed down all the time. I don't know about you guys, but when I was at this rank, I had an overseer pick, which was rather fast. Uh, and it, and it, when I hit this wool, it really aggravated me because I, I, it would just slow me down so much. Uh, and I don't want it, really. But uh, Some kids will buy it, so I mean, I guess you might as well save it. Well, we're going to warp O. I think it's 50 mil to rank up to this, or 100 mil. This mine is awesome. I am super, super excited to uh, show you guys this rank because this was probably the best... When I got to this mine, I, I said to myself, wow, they actually did make a few good mines, uh, including this one. So this one's really good, guys. There's actually, there's four shops in, in each, there's two shops in each mine, so out of the four mines, that's eight shops. There's the sell prices. They're actually pretty good. And as you can see, they just used a world edit command to make the mine, so I'm rather disappointed in that, but they added some lava there to spice it up. There's no ores. There's... No breakable blocks like lapis or anything like that. There's the only or I mean ores. The only ores are diamond and emeralds. No coal. No anything like that. And yeah, I mean it's just super OP. There's a ton of gold here. A ton of diamonds. Orange clay is really easy to go through. Really easy to throw out of the inventory. 
Uh, it's not like quartz where you mix it up with the iron blocks or anything like that. And instead of hitting up the lapis um, ores, you get these blocks, which are really nice. If you want to throw them out, you can throw them out, or you can break the stack down and sell them, as it's much easier to see a stack than a full inventory. So, flash warp. P. Now, I didn't do much mining at this. I used my farms and my shops mostly to get through this mine, but it is actually pretty awesome. It's really big. I'm going to show you guys over here. There's actually a glitch with this mine. There's the sell prices. So, as you can see, the diamond, the emerald price goes up about 6,500 from the previous rank. So, you can see now you're starting to get up into the better ranks. Uh, but down we go. No, no poor blocks, but there is uh, this sandstone, which is pretty easy to go through. Uh, and you guys will see, oh, looks like they've actually fixed it. There used to be a hole in this pea mine right here. Uh, that was like a, someone had set off a piece of TNT or something right there and trying to get out of the map or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, the mine itself is not bad. Very simple. And not much else to say about it. It's, it's I mean, it looks pretty, I guess. It looks like they kind of just spam blocks all over, but... Uh, and it is actually a glacier biome. I think they used a glacier biome for this. Uh, so that's pretty cool, but I guess. Slash warp Q. Now this mine is pretty cool, other than the fact that you have to run uh, like into this mountain. It's kind of weird, but it, it is actually... I mean, the, you can see that they didn't just use a world edit command to build a circle, you know, circular sphere. There's a shop on either side, and you can actually sell the nether bricks. You usually can't sell the common block in the mine, but you can actually sell these. The mine is actually really good. Um, I mean, it might not look like it, but uh, it's easy to distinguish where the blocks you're hunting for are. And the nether bricks actually look really good in, in plot building. I really, I really like people who use the nether bricks and carpets together. It looks rather nice. So, there you go. There's the P rank. Now the R rank. This rank is boss. This mine is so awesome. And I'm really disappointed that a lot of people are glitching into it still. That they still haven't fixed it for over a month now. It's really pathetic, but... Uh, that's the staff for you on mine, friends. Yeah, anyways, the mine is circle stone bricks, a ton of diamond, iron, gold blocks. It's just really awesome. And you can see here, it's huge. It's very deep as well. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. We'll see. You'll just see how massive it actually is. So there you go. It's pretty damn big. Uh, definitely enough to keep four or five people going at a time. And you can see, you can just see how OP it is. I'm already getting a ton of uh, emerald blocks just from being here. I mean, almost almost 30 seconds, not that long at all. So that's super nice, guys. And we're going to go check out the donator ranks now. So we're going to go to Warp Prisoner. I would... I'm going to tell you this right now. Do not buy this rank. Do not buy Prisoner unless you plan on donating to a higher rank. The armor that you get in your kit is only P4. Uh, the pick is basically a pick that you can make on an enchant table. And this is the mine. So it's pretty bad. It's iron ores. I mean, who wants to dig iron? Who wants to pay $20 and dig ore? Not me. Definitely not me. Um, I guess the rest of the mine is decent. I mean, I haven't really ever checked it out, so I'm just doing this for the first time. Looks like these are supposed to be little houses or something. And the man-made trees, of course, you can't beat the man-made trees. Looks like they're trying to make willow trees there or something. And it looks like someone cleared that mine uh, all the way out. Or they haven't filled it with anything. I bet they haven't filled it with anything. Anyways, we go to Warp Gang Leader. Now, most of you guys who are donating are probably going to donate to this rank at least because you get the fix command. So I figure you'd probably want to see this. Sorry I waited till the end of the video to show you. Um, but yeah. They recently changed it, so you guys are pretty lucky now. Uh, if you're only a gang leader, this used to be quartz slabs instead of circle stone bricks. And they actually added a new block to this, which is pretty rare. And that is it right there. It's actually clay. So you can get uh, just the straight up regular clay. Um, and I think it's rare. I'm not sure if it's rare or not. But uh, yeah, this is the mine. There's two of them. They're huge. It's basically like two R mines. That's the size of them. And we're going to go to Warp Guard. Now, before we go, I'm going to say this mine is bad. This this is probably one of the worst mines I've seen on, on any prison server uh, for a few reasons. And I'll show you that when we get here. So you're going to see a lot of uh, frame, frame lag. And you're going to see that the 
the block, the main block here is uh, stone walls, so you can't actually like jump over them usually. Um, you have to jump on another block somewhere. Like, it's just, it's really bad. It's so bad. I mean, I'm really disappointed in this mine. It, it looks like they did clean up some of the lag or something somehow. Uh, I would say the only... We're gonna do something here, block. The only the only benefit of this mine is having the obsidian. The shop isn't that great. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just I'm very upset with the mine. I don't, I don't have much to say about it. Uh, you can just see. I mean, when, when I saw it for the first time, I just I I could not believe that it was made out of uh, walls. When you actually start to mine, especially down near the bottom, the, the amount of lag that you get is just so bad. Um, I just... yeah. So, that was all the mines, guys. The next time that I rank up, I will be sure to post a video. Uh, I believe TL Type S is already there. And my dog is going crazy now, so I think I'm going to wrap up the video. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, post a comment down below. Tell me what rank you were when you saw this. And maybe when I see you on the server, you'll be a higher rank or something. So, till then, see you next time.